So y'all might think we're working on a uh, PS3 today, but you would be wrong. This PS3 has zero power, and I've I've worked on this PS3 before, but <clears throat> it uh I think it's beyond my capability to repair. But I might do a video showing how to extract the error codes um, using the X Connect, so so that m maybe somebody would know what's wrong with it. But in any event, um, it has no power. And it has no power because this power supply is bad. So that is what we are going to be working on today. What we have to do is disassemble this power supply. And so there's a screw right here. So we'll go ahead and remove that screw and try to get these I'm assuming it's held in with clips. Why won't you open? They really did not want this thing to come off. I mean, I get it, it's a power supply and they can be dangerous, but. All right, so we've got the, uh, the power supply out of the case now. And so just a, just a disclaimer, Power supplies are dangerous. Um, these big capacitors they hold voltage even after power has even after power has been disconnected from from the power supply. They'll hold the charge, you know, and and that's their that's their purpose, you know. So so the way the way power supplies are supposed to work is I get 120 volts in, and then I get a DC voltage out. In the case of a PS3 power supply, from what I've read, you have you get five volts and three volts. Um, and then when you actually power on the PS3, you start producing 12 volts from your 12 volt rail. So this, uh, this power supply has a burn mark. So I think in this case, since we do a, a visual inspection, uh, I'm assuming that's where we should probably start. Uh, and if I put my finger here and I flip it over, you notice there looks like, I don't know, can you guys see that? It's right there. I'm 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 betting that that uh that got a little bit too hot and caused the burn mark on the other side. So I don't know what that component is. So we will try to figure that out. So as you can see, uh, when we look at these components underneath uh, the microscope. We can see that they have, or it has a hole in it. And if you notice, it says Q201. Um, and that's pretty significant. But if we slide over, we notice that IC230 has a hole in it as well. So the task is going to be to figure out what these components are and then to uh, see if we can actually uh, purchase those or maybe I have them on, another, on, on other motherboards that I have so that's going to be the task all right so after hours of research uh, I finally figured out because you could not read the component uh, identification on this but thankfully I was able to figure out that it's a 02 n 60 hotel it's an in-channel MOSFET uh, and it has a volt voltage from gate to source which on here this bottom pin is the gate and this is the source, so that should read 10 volts. It's a 600 volt overall MOSFET, um, and I can order that from Mauser Electronics. This other component that has a hole in it uh, is the DAPA or DAP8A, and it's a small diode array. All right, so the only place that I was able to find this small diode array um, was from some some folks on on eBay. I don't think I'm going to order those parts but what I am going to do is I am going to pull this component and this component off of the board um, and see what happens you see see if, if the short because this one is definitely shorted from gate to source which is a which is not good um, so if I pull these off I'm gonna see what happens so as you can see from the video 
um, that MOSFET had gotten so hot that it completely welded itself to the track. And so as I was attempting to pull it off, it was just removing the entire track. So I don't want to stick this back in a, a PS3. Uh, I think it's pretty much destroyed. So um, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully these components will help somebody else out uh, in the future. And I thanks for watching.